what's happening? Good morning. It's about 7 a.m. I just got to the BAC office and I gotta work this Volkswagen Tiguan deal for actually for a really good friend of mine. So, you know, I'm trying to hit it pretty hard. First of all, if anybody from Volkswagen Credit is seeing this video, guys, there's no sense in a double zero two money factor. It like you you guys are just burying these people with bad credit. If they don't qualify for the double zero two and you guys gotta bump them up, like Volkswagen's charging close to six and a half percent interest on the highest tier. I might be speaking Chinese to some of you right now, but just realize that if your credit sucks, getting a Volkswagen T1 right now is not your best bet if you're trying to save money on interest, on finance charges. However, if your credit is okay, I guess it's not too bad, but you gotta hit for a really, really hard discount. So right now the Tiguan's got a pretty high residual. It's at about 60%. I gotta run this lease for this friend of mine and try to figure out exactly what I could do for him. And he did me a favor, he sent me over the build and uh, shot it over. The build itself, it's not too, too hard of a build to find. Actually, what you wanna do is what he did. You wanna build out the car on Volkswagen's website. Take it in with you so they know exactly what you're looking for. They take you a little bit more seriously too when you walk in with um, with a build. It means that <laughs> It means that you know what you want. You're not really settling for anything less than that. They know you mean business. Most of these Volkswagen guys, they probably deal with people that are, you know, shopping their car a lot. And they don't like it. Nobody likes rough estimates. Everybody obviously likes to have a precise number. For anybody that's looking at this video just asking or thinking to themselves, what's just a rough estimate? Help me out here. So if you're starting with the S, and we're assuming zero money down, you wanna target about 300 a month. If you're targeting the SE, I'd say about 330. SEL probably I'd say about like 375. SEL premiums are going above 400. Obviously, if you can cover your taxes, fees, and first payment, do it start. Everything drops at about 30 bucks a month. Because these taxes and fees roughly amount to about like 1250 1300 bucks that accounts for about 40 bucks that are that is being capitalized into your payment if you're looking to buy this car now Volkswagen uh, last month was doing pretty well with um, with with cash um, however you were taking either a 2.9 percent interest rate on tier one or a little bit higher I'd say about 3.9 if your credit wasn't a 720 plus discounts you easy you're talking about three grand four grand depending on what trim, you know, how expensive of an MSRP we're talking. Uh, you could definitely see 4,000 as, as a common discount. If you were to walk in with your own interest rate, you could max out the discounts. Volkswagen gives you a rebate if you're not financing at their lowest APR. So if you were to go in with your own interest rate, then what you could do is you can, you can max out the rebates and have the dealership give you an option to finance through the dealership, but on your terms. As far as getting approved on this lease, Volkswagen has about eight different tiers for approval. If your credit's not so great, your chances of getting approved on a Volkswagen lease are pretty high. I wouldn't worry too, too much about getting approved if you, even if you've got a score in like the low 600s, high 500s. High 500s is kind of pushing it though. Definitely fill out a credit application and make sure you're not wasting your or the dealership's time. So as far as his lease, so I like to usually put everything on paper. So his car costed about 33,000. Let's move over. His lease is kind of interesting because we've still got to worry about his current lease, which has about two payments left in it. So I'm not going to rely solely on an early lease termination. What I'm going to try to do is have him take it to like CarMax, see what the car is worth, and see if we can pay it off that way or if there's any equity. Um, get rid of it and um, not worry about these lease payments. That's not guaranteed, but I definitely recommend doing this if you're trying to get out. Now what I'm gonna target for him is about 10% without rebates. Let's say 3,500 off, just cash off of the sticker price. Then we've got about 2,350 in lease rebates. That results to, 
let me show you. Basically, what I'm trying to go for is roughly about 17.5% discount off of MSRP. Then we got 60% residual 10K miles. And then a 0 0.00215 MF at tier one. Jesus, folks. So we go back and we put this all in the calculator. That 3,500 bucks. 2350 is in here. All that other good stuff. And we're at 380 a month. It's not a guarantee that I'll get 18% off off of this Tiguan. However, I do want to pursue it because it's a close friend and you got to hook him up. On top of everything else, not only that, but Volkswagen, like, why wouldn't you be able to get a smoking hot deal on a Volkswagen? They're already charging way too much from, for the interest rate from Volkswagen credit. So why in the hell would I pay more than I need to on the actual car? Hope this video helps, guys. If it did help, give it a nice thumbs up below. If you're seeing this on Facebook, share it maybe, if I'm lucky. And if you're seeing this on Instagram, just double tap the hell out of your screen. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.